So we're going to talk a little bit today about constructors and this important keyword in Java called super. We're going to use this little inheritance hierarchy as an example. So far, what I've done inside these classes is I've left them pretty much blank, except I've declared two attributes in the complex number class, which is the can contain the real and the imaginary parts of the number, and they're both decimals. And all I've done in the real and the imaginary is I've just used these keywords extends complex to create the inheritance relationships. And my first question to you, looking at these three classes, let's look at all three of them for a second, is has the author, in this case me, written any constructors for any of these classes here? I have not written any constructors, that is correct. So my next question is, do the classes have constructors and if so, who wrote them? Yes, they do. Who wrote the constructor, sir? The compiler wrote the constructor. How many constructors does each class have right now? And what are the parameters to it? There's one constructor per class, and they each take no parameters. Those are called the default constructors. I'm going to show you what the constructor looks like that the compiler wrote for complex, because I did not include one. It's going to look something like this. Now, you can see the job of the constructor is to initialize the attributes, and that's what I'm doing here. This might be a surprise to some of you, but it turns out that before the compiler can construct an object of type complex, it needs to create something else first. It needs to create something, uh, a, 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 an instance of the object that complex class inherits from. Now you can see that over here there are no words to suggest what complex class inherits from, but I told you way back at the beginning of the year that every class in Java inherits from one grandfather class. What's the name of that class? It inherits from the object class, so it's as if you were to write this, and in fact you could write that, but you don't have to write it. It just puts it in for you automatically. So what's happening here is that before the rest of the constructor for complex can run, the first thing that has to happen is that an object of type object has to be created as the skeleton for this complex class. So that's what this is about. And then here we are initializing the attributes of the class. Now over here, uh, if I don't write the constructor, it's going to put in a constructor for me, and it's going to be like this. And it's going to once again call the constructor for the superclass, in this case happens to be complex. So before it can build a, an object of type real, it first needs to build an object of type complex. So that's what this super call is doing here. Now, I'm going to show you some of the idiosyncrasies of Java. For example, if I go like this, is this OK? Who remembers from way back when? Is it OK? Super needs to be the first statement in a constructor, whether it's here or here. You can see that I can't do this, for example, because it needs to be the first line of code in the constructor call. We're going to modify this constructor. And I'm going to go back and get rid of this constructor for a second. And I'm going to put this back to where it was. And now if I come out here, you can see that everything is all OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this constructor here so that it takes the two arguments. So I'm going to go double real, double imaginary. And then I'm going to say this dot real equals real, and this dot imaginary equals imaginary. And now you can see I've got this constructor that takes two arguments. Remember that the compiler is still putting in the constructor here, but still it puts in the constructor with no arguments. And now look what happens when I go to compile. It complains. It complains here, and it also complains here. And my question is, why is it complaining? Now here, it's calling the constructor with no arguments, and that's calling the constructor here with no arguments. 
question for uh, that I have for you is, do I still have a constructor with no arguments that the compiler put in here, Ms. Rhea? Why not? So when you make a constructor or multiple constructor, the compiler says, oh, this author knows how to create constructors. So they don't need me to put in any constructors. And maybe they don't want the default constructor. So I'm going to take the default constructor away. So now what's happening is that there's a mismatch in the constructors. Because here's the one the compiler put in. And you can see that this call to the constructor for complex with no arguments doesn't exist anymore. So we need to change this now. And we need to figure out what to do here. See if you and your partner can figure out what to do here. This is your lab. The real number when you call the constructor only has one component in it, which is the real component. But our complex constructor appears to need two things. So should we just put the one part in here? Is that good enough? What else should we do? OK, Ms. Omkumar, uh, it seems to want a constructor call with two arguments. What should we do? OK, so we should just not use this part. And I think we need to set it to a safe value. That's probably a safe value to use. And so this is how we chain the constructors together. So the real constructor is calling the complex constructor. We're passing along the information that was passed to our constructor to the parent, because we're not going to store this locally. The, the complex constructor is going to do all the work with these parts. And so now we can see here, we're going to do a similar thing. You write this one now for the imaginary similarly. So you can see here, I do a similar thing in the imaginary constructor. I take the information given and I pass it along to the parent class so it can store it in its second attribute. And I set the other one safely to zero. So this, these are some clues for you about how to do your lab. Also, just a refresher on how super works and how constructors work. Am I allowed to have more than one constructor? Yeah, it's like this class. Yes, I can. So I'm going to ask you to create another constructor here that takes no arguments and set these numbers to zero. Please do that now. So just set these to zero here. You don't have to use the this pointers here, but you could. And you can see everything is going to compile right now. Now you notice that over here, I called the super class to create a object uh, of an object class. Here I did not. How do you explain that? Or how come I need to create an object of an object class here, but I didn't need to do it here? What's that about? If you don't call super here, the compiler will sneak in a call to super for you, even though you can't see it. It just knows that in order to create a complex number, it first needs to call the constructor for its parent class. And so here, you can see it's going to call this super whether you call it or not. Likewise, if I'm over here and I have another constructor here like this, you can see that it's going to call the complex numbers default constructor, this one here. It's going to sneak in this call right here for you. If you want to explicitly call super and give it a number like this, you can do that also. And this is a much better way to code than the other way where you're relying on the compiler to sneak in and call the default super constructor for you. A lot of times, if you have a reader who's not familiar with Java, they're not going to know what's going on. So it's much better to explicitly make the super calls yourself instead of relying on the compiler to come in and call the super with no arguments. Remember now, when the compiler writes code for you, it writes simple code. So if it writes a constructor, it writes a zero argument constructor. If it makes a super call for you, it always calls super with no arguments. If you want to make a different super call, you need to specify that here. Yes, Mr. Degouge. Yes, sir. This call here will now redirect to this constructor. OK, so that is my little review for you on constructors and keywords.